This is a man who has done this for years and years and years. His apology was weak to begin with. The fact that he took it back and said, uh, I still want to apologize, but I was never aggressive. That's wrong. He was aggressive. He was aggressive to Angela Turner Wilson when he groped her. He was aggressive when he wouldn't let her out of her dressing room. He was aggressive to me stepping in my space and asking me that question, knowing that I'm married. Patricia Wolf es la primera mujer que denunció públicamente el supuesto acoso sexual que sufrió hace tres décadas por Plácido Domingo. The first time I met him, I, it, it's kind of like meeting um, a person with an aura around them. You know, it was, it's, in my business back then, to me, it was almost, this sounds silly, but it was almost like meeting a, a god. En una entrevista con EFE, la mezzo-soprano rememora así sus primeros encuentros con el tenor. Um, I remember receiving a kiss on the cheek. Next time we met, it came over here. Next time, much closer, right here. And that was when, when the kiss started moving over and the body started getting closer with each of those. I started thinking, this is a little strange. Wolf es una de las 27 mujeres que vivieron el acoso de domingo. Esto según ACMA, el sindicato de artistas de Estados Unidos, que ha estado investigando el comportamiento del tenor. Sin embargo, su informe no se ha hecho público. I think it's really important that ACMA release that report in full. I think it's, it's extremely important that they expel him from the union and Don't let it allow a, a don't allow a predator. This is a predator who's done this repeatedly. Just because he gives a weak apology, what makes us think he's not going to come back and do it again? It's a habit. La semana pasada, Domingo aceptó toda responsabilidad de sus acciones, pero luego rectificó y aseguró que nunca se había comportado agresivamente con nadie, dijo, y que jamás había hecho nada para obstruir o perjudicar la carrera de nadie. I can't tell you how many women have called me and told me their stories, still not willing to come forward because they're still performing, but he would promise them roles and then he would If they didn't perform for him, and I don't mean sing for him, if they didn't perform for him sexually in some way, he would take the roles away. Para Wolf, el poder de Plácido Domingo continúa siendo inmenso. Esto porque vende entradas. A la Method Soprano, según indicó, le costó más de un año aceptar que usaran su nombre en el artículo de Associated Press en el que se denunció por primera vez el acoso en agosto de 2019. It wasn't an easy decision.